welcome back to my channel. So I'm showing you a ballroom dancing show dance hair. So that's when you're doing a show and you wanna wear your hair out because it's not a competition, so it doesn't have to be in a bun. Yay! So this is what it looks like. Hope you enjoy the video. <laughs> So this is the length of my hair. You can see it is quite short. It sits roughly on my shoulders. And this hairstyle is super easy. So you're in luck no matter how highly skilled you are when it comes to hair. So the very first thing I'm doing is brushing all of the knots out and then sectioning my hair. It's basically a half up, half down kind of situation. So just section your hair however thickness you like to have out, leave it out and take up what needs to be put up. <laughs> My hair's quite fine, so I decided to take more out so I have more movement when I'm dancing. Now we just want to get this out of the way because we're going to work on the ends first. So now I'm just plugging in my straightener so it heats up quickly and while that's happening I'm getting my teasing brush and I'm just going to give a bit of height at the roots of my hair just so it's got a little bit more volume towards the roots. So I'm just back combing here. I don't want it to be too buffy but it's just to give me a small amount of volume. So back combing and then hairspraying and then taking a new section back combing and hairspraying. So now I am just smoothing out to make sure that there are no frizzy bits or knotty sections. So because I do like to keep the volume at the roots of the hair, I'm only straightening my hair from the midsection to the ends. Oh god, that was tight. <laughs> So now we are working on the top section. So I'm working from the back towards the front. So just taking a section and using my good old dry shampoo. So it's gonna give us a bit of a grittiness and it helps the teasing hold a little bit better. So I'm just spraying it in front of the hair and under the hair and then using my teasing comb just to back comb the roots. I'm not back combing the whole hair because just the roots is what's gonna give us the volume. And then from the midsections down, I'm gonna end up straightening that. So because we're getting close to the hairline, we're just taking a smaller section and we're not using the dry shampoo here because we've already got quite a bit of volume and you don't wanna see any white marks through your hairline. So now we're just back combing only as close as you can get to the roots. So I've kind of got the brush in there and I'm wriggling it up and down to get the volume. So now we're just laying that down, popping some hairspray in and smoothing it out. And now for this very last section, you're kind of just brushing it over and covering all of the bits and making it look really smooth. I wouldn't tease this part because you just want it to be super slick. So once you're happy with how it's sitting, you can start um, combing it and hairspraying it just so it's sitting absolutely perfectly. And then we're just gonna get our bobby pins and start pinning it um, into place. And if you spot any little bumps, just use the tail end of the comb to smooth it out. Now I'm adding some more bobby pins to make sure that it's definitely not going to move. Don't worry about if you can see the bobby pins because we are going to cover those. Now with the rest of the hair that was not straightened to start with, just taking a small section by section and straightening it. I also like to hold onto the bobby pins at the back so you're not going to move those when you're pulling down and straightening. and just touching up any little bits at the front. And now it's time to place the hair piece into place. So don't put any glue or anything to keep it there to start with because you just wanna kind of have a bit of a play and see where you definitely want it to sit. Once you've decided on where you want it to sit, my new little trick instead of putting glue in my hair is to pop some glue onto the back of a bobby pin put the bobby pin into the hair into place and do this a couple of times with a few different bobby pins and then put your hair piece on top of the pins. And you just wanna hold this in place for a good couple of minutes until it feels nice and secure and voila.
that's the end of this tutorial. Hope you guys loved it. Be sure to hashtag Rachel McIntosh MUA if you recreate this look and I'll see you next Friday night. Bye-bye.